As the old saying goes, at the casino, the house always wins. But it doesn't have to be that way. Today we're going to show you how to do the impossible and beat the casino. This is Epic How To. Epic How To. Not all casino games are created equal. Some games are easier to win than others. For example, slots in the Wheel of Fortune have 10% odds in favor of the casino, compared to Blackjack where the house only has a 1% odd. Where's the best casino for you to make your millions? While you might immediately think Las Vegas, go ahead and buy a plane ticket to Belgium. Their casinos have different rules and payout structures that slightly favor the player. We know Belgium's not the most convenient trip, but if you're serious about beating the casino, you'll have to take any advantage you can get. Why not eat some waffles while you're there? Mm. Now that you're at the Belgian blackjack tables, you need to know the strategies that will help keep the odds ever in your favor. By far the most helpful technique is card counting. You may have heard that counting cards is illegal, but let's be clear, there is no federal, state, local, or international law preventing card counting, provided that you don't use any external device to help you out. However, if you're caught counting cards, the casino might kick you out and permanently ban you. You could even get your name published in the Griffin Book, the black book that every casino in the world consults, which could prevent you from ever entering another casino for the rest of your life. Card counting made famous by the MIT Blackjack team in the 1980s is a system of evaluating cards and mathematically surmising the probability of winning or losing the hand. We'll break it down for you. The most simple card counting system is high-low. In this system, each card is assigned a value. Low cards, the two through the six, have a value of plus one. Cards seven through nine have a value of zero. 10 through the face cards and the ace have a value of negative one. Now where do these values come from? Simply put, cards worth 10 have a greater chance of helping the player win, and cards worth less have a greater chance of making the player lose. When you're dealt your hand, add up the value of the cards. A positive value means you have a better chance of drawing better cards, and that means you should bet more money. The higher the running count, that is, the total value of all the cards that you've seen, the higher you should bet. However, there's one more wrinkle. Unlike blackjack at home, casinos play with multiple decks, usually five or six. To really know how much you should bet, divide your running count by the number of decks waiting to be dealt. To know how much that is, eyeball how many cards are in the discard pile, plus how many cards the dealer has left. Now there's more to it, including other systems of card counting that may or may not be more advantageous. For more in-depth info, check out the book written about the MIT blackjack team, Bringing Down the House. Now that you're a master at card counting, you need to disguise yourself so you don't look like a shark. The goal is to look less like James Bond and more like your dad on his day off. If you're wondering exactly how to appear, use these fill in the blanks. Fill in the blank. When he's mowing the lawn, my dad wears blank. My dad's favorite drink of choice is blank. The thing my dad does when he thinks no one else is looking is blank. The more dad-like you are, the more likely you're gonna fly under the casino's radar. Now there's a lot of blackjack tables at the casino. Which one do you play? According to experts, don't worry about the tables that seem hot or cold. Tides can change quickly. What you're looking for is a table with little to no other players. The less players, the faster each hand goes. The faster each hand goes, the more money you can make. At the blackjack table, the house is represented by the dealer. The dealer decides when to shuffle the deck, which can seriously mess up your count. But there's an easy way to turn the dealer into a valuable ally. After winning a hand, give the dealer a couple of chips. The more you tip when you win, the more the dealer's gonna wanna see you win. But if you really wanna make a good impression, you can involve the dealer in your bet. Either place a bet for them, or let them ride on your bet. Either one gives the dealer more money and keeps them happy, and in turn, they're gonna do what they can to keep you winning. Now, no matter how good you are or how much you win, you will eventually lose. You might even lose a bunch, but don't get discouraged. The important thing is to know your limit. Know how much money you have and how much you can afford to lose. And know how much free alcohol you can drink without getting drunk enough to hurt your play. Know when it's time to cut your losses and move on. This applies double when you're winning. When you're up, you need to have the ability to walk away. It's better to win small over time than win big one time. Casinos are the one place you don't want to make a name for yourself. Just ask Don Johnson, not the actor, who won 15 million at Atlantic City Casinos in 2011 and now can no longer play blackjack at many top casinos. Slow and steady is your best chance at winning this race. Conclusion. So there you have it. You'll be winning at blackjack at Belgian casinos for years to come. What are you going to do with all your money? Party forever? Retire to your own island? Or maybe open up your own casino and rob the suckers who don't know any better blind? Ha! Whatever you decide, you know you can turn your dreams into an epic reality with Epic How To. 
Let us know what topic you guys think we should break down next in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe.